Hello everyone, I am AK. Welcome to my teeny YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how I am making iron sulfate, ferrous sulfate, for gold or platinum precipitation. Over the past months, three different people have asked me to make a video on this topic. And I have thought, um, why not? Since people are interested in this topic, today I will make ferrous sulfate with you. Let's do that! Okay, to make a uh, ferrous sulfate we need uh, electrolyte, battery acid, steel and nothing else. Very simple. Since it doesn't have electrolyte battery acids, um, I will make uh, electrolyte myself. For that I need water and sulfuric acid. My sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid 98%, very strong acid. Uh, very important thing, it should be steel with no any plating on top. For example, this is brass plated, tin plated screw. This is not good, should be no any plating on top. So far I found this metal the best metal to make ferrous sulfate. Not uh, copper, not um, um, aluminum, just steel. Uh, or any nails. To make electrolyte battery acid, I will mix water with electrolyte. Oh, I'm sorry, with sulfuric acid. Please be careful, very strong acid. One thousand milliliters of water and two hundred milliliters of sulfuric acid. Now I have battery acid, electrolyte. And now steel. Any steel with no it must be no plating on top. Any steel. Even this one. <laughs> Reaction very strong. Guys, I do not use heat right now, it's off because solution too hot right now. Just in case I recommend you to keep extra water near because sometimes reaction too strong. Um, in next three or four hours the reaction will be complete and our solution will be ready for filtration. The solution reaction going well, metal dissolving. That is why I say keep extra water near because sometimes uh, reaction too strong and to knock down foam need to spray water. Okay, I'm going to turn on heat. Because reaction slow down now. After 4 hours, the metal dissolution reaction completely stopped. Um, so, sulfuric acid now is uh, not active. See, uh, here, no any bubbles. It's very important, very important. It's, uh, if sulfuric acid is still active, acid will destroy your filter. It's very important. Now I will keep my solution on the table around 5-10 minutes. Ten minutes enough. And slowly, slowly just drain your solution to the filter. Dirt. Water. Water. 
here are some nails, some steel, and this is still good uh, material to make uh, iron sulfate. Just add more steel. And fresh acid. And keep going. Okay, second beaker. When it will be filtered, I will filter one more time. I want to filter one more time my solution. Okay, I have bad color of solution. It should be blue, not black. Which means uh, I have hole in my filter. It's very bad. So I want to filter my solution one more time. Okay guys, after second filtration my solution looks much better, it's still dark, but you know, if you have same problem, don't worry, it's absolutely no problem, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about, sometimes reaction too strong, see? The dissolution reaction is over, now I can filter it. It's already dark outside, a lot of insects. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, four hours ago I filtered the solution and check this out. In the jar I already have some crystals of ferrous sulfate. Looking good. After filtration, I will keep my solution in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, that is not necessary, you know, you can keep your solution outside, no problem. Okay, and this metal again, I can use again and again, absolutely no problem. Tomorrow morning there will be a lot of iron sulfate in the jar. After the night many crystals formed in the jar. Looking good. Now I want to, uh, now I want to keep the jar upside down because I need to drain all liquid, I need only crystals. I will keep jar upside down for about one hour. Good. And now I need to crush all these crystals. Okay, ready. This is how I'm making the purest iron sulfate 
for the gold or palladium precipitation. I love working with ferrous sulfate. Precipitation of gold is fast and after precipitation gold sediment looks like a small granules, not like a dust, not like after a sodium metabisulfite, you know. And one more very important part. Sodium metabisulfite is very toxic, you know this, right? Ferrous sulfate is completely non-toxic. When I use iron sulfate, my brain are fine and my lungs are okay too. It's very important. Now, if someone looking for iron sulfate, if someone wants to buy the iron sulfate, you can do it in my eBay store. Link down below. I hope my video helps someone. I hope. If you have any questions, guys, if you have any questions, please ask. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.